Amani channel, this is webvideochefs.com. We've been getting questions about how to green screen, what is a green screen, and we have some answers for you right here on Web Video Chefs. So if you've ever seen a news weather forecast, you're witnessing the green screen chroma key effect. It basically involves taking a layer out of one image and replacing it with another. It's basically a compositing effect um, and it's done with either a green or a blue screen. Why a green or blue screen? Well green or blue are tones that are furthest away from your skin tones. So that's why they use those colors and it basically is a piece of cloth. It can be green muslin, it can be paper, it can be a sheet, it can be whatever it is but it has to be pure green or pure blue. All right, so the most important thing when you're trying to green screen is having a flat piece of material. So in this case, we have a, a, a green muslin cloth that's basically hanging in the wall. We're in my home studio. And the, the, the thing you need to make sure you do is light the green screen correctly. So I'm gonna show you my setup here. I have a just some Home Depot work lights actually that are being used to light uh, the green screen. And then I have a clamp light that's in front of me that's lighting my face and another light that's sort of kind of a fill light, but they're basically two lights in front of me and then this one uh, halogen light. And that's basically my setup. Uh, the clamp light, you can buy it for about 10 bucks at Home Depot. The work light, maybe 20 bucks, something like that. And that's basically all it is. But you have to make sure you're not casting any shadows on the green screen. You have to make sure that the green screen is lit sufficiently. You want a flat, color you don't want a lot of hot spots or else that's going to cause some problems is your key so now that i've kind of explained exactly what it is let's go into adobe premiere pro and i'll show you how to take the green out and replace the background all right so we're in adobe premiere pro and we're going to click on this file in the bin which is where all your media is stored all right, so you have your picture, fit pictures are stored here as well as uh, video clips. Just double click on it. And this is uh, one of the shots from my green screen recording. And what you can do is to lay it onto the timeline, you can either drag and drop, all right, that way, or you can use this little button here to override it. But first you wanna make sure that you have um, all of your audio and video tracks selected. So we have the video selected here, video one, and let's go ahead and click on audio one as well. All right, and then we can go ahead and override that. And uh, that is the clip, all right? Now what you wanna do is bring video one, slide that up or drag it up to the second video track because we wanna put our background visual on this track. All right, so let's click on it now. We have a 5D forecast, forgive me station, because I just found this on the internet. You gotta love Google. And uh, we'll, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, we can just drag it down here. Don't worry about making in and out points. And we'll make it a little bit smaller there. And then we'll grab this other picture, this other image that I found, and put that there, all right? Now, if you look at this picture, it is a little bit smaller. That's because it was not a, a full resolution. Um, it's not sized for HD, it's not sized for this frame. So what you can do is just, we'll just drag this out. All right, and bring it and fill it in that way. All right, that's fine. This is just an example. Um, we'll have a little bit of resolution loss here, but that's okay, because as I said, I'm just showing you how to green screen, all right? So the next thing that I always do is I will crop the, this video layer. So this is the video two track. I'm gonna go ahead and crop it. All right, so go into transform and then drag the crop filter onto video two. All right, this is on the, the image that has the chroma key that has the green screen behind it that we want a chroma key. And then you wanna double click on it and if you double click on it and it doesn't bring up the uh, effects controls, just you can go to Windows and go to Effect Controls or Shift 5, all right? And it'll bring up Effect Controls. And this is where all of your filters, you can control all your filters. So here we see the crop 
filter that we just dropped on the, the, the image on the video. And we're going to crop the left and the right sides. All right. So this is basically going to make this layer um, smaller. And you will see it happening here. So we're going to crop the left to about right there. And we're going to crop the right as well to about right there. And this is going to reduce the amount of uh, image that we actually have to, to, to do the chroma key effect on. Because as you can see, the background's already there. But if we go and make this like this, then you lose the picture, right? But we want my image as well as the background image to appear. So that's what we're going to do next, all right? So let's go to the keying folder. And we're going to see color key, all right? So we're going to drag and add this filter on to the video. And now you see it's here. And there's it's blue right now. That's if you're going to blue screen. We're going to click on the eyedropper. And we want to first, I always like to start with the brightest or the, the, the brightest part of the green because, you know, I only use one light. Ideally, you want to use two lights to light your green screen. I just use one light, so it's a little bit brighter. It's a little bit lighter on this side, as you can see. Um, so I always like to start with the brightest part of the green uh, to choose. So let's go ahead and click there. Now it's selected. And then you go to tolerance, color tolerance. And like magic. All right. It's going away. All right, I'm just going to go right about there. And then I'm going to add one more color. Actually, let me so let me just show you this. So, so let's continue just to bring this out. Because let's say you just wanted to try to bring everything out for that green. Okay. We got to the end and look, some of my face, I'm losing some of my face here, um, a little bit of particleization there. And so we don't really want that. So let's go ahead and bring that back down. I'm going to bring it down to about there. All right. And now we're going to add another color key filter on, double it up here and do the same thing. And I'm going to click on this green. All right. Now you can see it's very subtle, right? That's the first green that we keyed out. This is the second green that we're going to do right now. But it makes a difference. That's why having a very flat, even green screen, a very well lit green screen, and even uh, even green screen is important. But as I increase the tolerance, the rest of the green is going away. All right. Right about there. A couple other things we can do now. Let's thin the edges because if you look at it, um, there is a little bit of green around my head. It's really subtle. There's a little bit of green on my shoulder. Let's thin the edge just a bit. Probably about one or two is fine. That's good. And now let's feather the edges, just to smooth it out just a bit. We'll smooth it. All right, let's go ahead and render. So if you've ever seen a news weather forecast, if you're witnessing. All right, so that's it. Now, ideally, if you're going to do this in a professional setting, you want to use like a three point light um, set, set up when you're lighting the subject. Um, you have a key, a fill and then a backlight that'll also add some depth uh, to the subject. This isn't a perfect key. I still see a little bit of green, a little bit over here. I can continue to tweak it. Now, remember, if you're um, going to do green screen, don't wear any green. If you're going to do blue screen, don't wear any blue because you'll also key out your clothes and you'll turn invisible. All right. But that's basically it. I um, hope this was helpful. Amani channel, webvideochefs.com. Leave a comment, ask us a question, find us on Twitter and Facebook, subscribe or like us. We're here to help though. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.